fun yeah. things. This is not going to make the edit for a <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Describe yourself in three words. Uh, funny, caring, neurotic. <laughs> when you hear the word successful, who's the first person that comes to mind? Oprah. Favorite book? Oh, um, I guess I'm Muslim, so I have to say the Quran. <laughs> Mandatory answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Favorite gift to give? Oh, a massage. Oh, that's a great one. Right? Great. It's, it's an experience. Yeah. And most people really need it. Yeah. What's your favorite gift to receive? Uh, I haven't gotten it yet, so we're going to put it out into the universe. A trip to like some sort of resort in the Caribbean. <laughs> a place where it's like you have to put your phone away and your laptop away and just sit on the beach. That is like I struggle with that. Switching off. Oh, don't we all? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yes. Oh my god. Yeah. What do you love about where you live? Oh, uh, Toronto? Wherever you live. Oh, okay. you can you can you can make it's it. Whatever, whatever I want. Okay. Whatever. Um uh, I would say Toronto because obviously because of how diverse it is, but also um because there's this beautiful sort of art scene. There's a lot of creatives and yeah, I love it. I love it here. Yeah. Favorite I you're so stylish. Like, look at you. What's your favorite item of clothing? Um, favorite item. Oh, I remember you asking for I this. And she was like, "Why do I have to pick one?" Um, I need uh, to vary my questions. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I really like wearing this jacket. I and there's like positive memories attached to it. So yeah, I think that's another thing that makes an item of clothing really meaningful. So you had like you went out and you had a really fun time wearing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this leather jacket, Goodwill San Francisco, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we all need to go to Goodwill San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Favorite time of day and why? Uh, you know what? Favorite time of day. I love that, um, it's like that late afternoon going into the evening, you know, when the sun is sort of, the sun, sun's slowly going down and the sky's kind of like pink. Mm. That's a really beautiful time. Yeah, the colors are so amazing. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, yeah. I also love sort of like early hours, like that 2, 3 a.m. Because are you up quiet. or are you, is it before you go to bed? No, no, no. So I'll, I'll, I'll be, um, I'll be, uh, I'll, yeah, I'm a night owl, so I'll be up. Yeah, but that's so bad for your face. I wake up the next day and it's just so clear that I stayed up till 3 a.m. <laughs> You ever have that thing where you're staying up late and then you see the bags form? What? And I'm like, I didn't go to sleep yet. I thought I was supposed to just like, <laughs> it's happening, watching them happening in real time. I like, know, oh, yeah. Yeah. Something you talked about, this is not in my script, but something you talked about, which I should have picked up on, is you talked about how you do five minute journal. Tell me about your morning routine. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, once in a while, I'll, I'll slip and I'll forget to fill up, but then I'll. I'll I'll do it right away. Uh, five minute journal, love it. Um, that's one of the first things I do before I have breakfast. And I try, and every night before I go to bed, I use this meditation app to help me fall asleep. You asked me about my morning routine, sorry. No, that's fine. The, the nighttime too is, is great. What is, for anyone who doesn't know or never heard of it, what is five minute journal? So it's, it's basically uh, journaling for dummies, you know, it's just sort of like very easy, very simple. Um, and so every morning you get up, there's a morning half, you fill out three things you're grateful for, you answer the question, what would make today great, you write in three things, and then you write down like a daily affirmation. And then at night, you write down three things that went well, and then you answer the question, how could I have made today better? Yeah. So I think that's really great. It's very reflective, and I love the weekly challenges. Mm -hmm. Weekly challenges are great. Yeah, yeah. What's um, a, what's an affirmation that you've written in the past? In a day oh, yet? that's a good one. Um, when I'm calm, I can I can hear my intuition, and that's where my truth lies. <laughs> Because a lot of times we're always so nervous, like second guessing ourselves. But when you're calm, the answer will come to you. It really will. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's deep. Yeah, yeah. That's really deep. And then you meditate at night or you try and meditate at night? Yeah, yeah. I, I have to do a guided meditation because if I'm left to my own devices, you know, I'll just lie there and be like, this music sounds nice. But I need to have someone telling me what to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Name two people.
people you would like to have dinner with and why? Dead or alive? Dead or alive. Okay. Uh, Maya Angelou, just for obvious reasons, you know, yeah. Um, who else would I really want to have dinner with? Uh, you know what? I'd love to have dinner with Brock and Michelle. But just like, and just talk to them about like, their eight years in the White House must have been just so stressful because they were the first black family, you know, and just the, they were so clearly being held to a higher standard. And that's so obvious with the way the media treats Trump. <laughs> it's just so different, you know what I mean? And the stress of that. And it really took its toll on Obama. Like, he's the first black person that I know of that actually is really <laughs> he cracked. Because he's cracked. He's really cracked. <laughs> yeah. I actually thought, I think it was um, maybe the White House correspondence dinner or something where he he made the joke about, you know, Michelle looks exactly like she looked the day we moved to the White House. Yeah. And they had the picture of him and he was like a skeleton. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's true. It really has taken its toll on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can see him age. Like, yeah. But she looks fabulous. Like, but you know what? I think it's also because when you're president, you're privy to so much information that he's probably not even allowed to tell Michelle. Yeah. So he knows all these secrets and all these probably morally bankrupt things that America has done and they're like, he has to just sort of take that to the It's a big weight, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. What can't you get through the day without you? Oh, that sounds so bad, but something sweet, yeah. What's the screen oh, say about your phone or computer? I remember hearing Farai say this and I totally agree with her. My phone is literally, literally just a tool. Like I don't, it's, I rarely do I personalize it and put a nice little background with a quote or something. No. Yeah, because for me, it's like, okay, I'm using this to help me do X, Y, Z. It's not, um, I'm not passionate about it. Also, the way they build phones now. Mm -hmm. you can, they only last two, three years. They don't build them to actually no. last a while. So I'm like, come on, y'all can fly a man to the, and a woman to the moon. You can't figure out how to make my phone on my back. For me, it's always my battery. Yeah. I'm like, how is it? Like, it's exactly like, boom. It's just like, there's something in there that's like, two years, her battery's going to start dying now. <laughs> Yeah, and I think what they do is just so that we keep buying the next the next thing. So that's why I'm like, okay, I really have to divorce myself from just like the emotional, like just re me really loving this phone. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite app? I'm talking about loving your phone. Favorite app? Oh, um, the one I use the most, I'd say it's my Gmail. <laughs> It's such a millennial. It's such a millennial. Answer, you know? yeah. <laughs> Other than your phone and your wallet, yeah. what do you carry with you every day? Phone and wallet. Um, oh, for I said this too, but I really believe in it. You have to have, I always have a little thing of shea butter. You need shea butter. Black girl props. Don't be looking at she. You know what's funny is I had someone tell me, um, they were white and they were like, oh, only black people get ashy. I was like, no, no, no. You guys get ashy too, but it's a camouflage. <laughs> okay, so that's the difference. It shows up on our skin, so we are held to a higher standard. It's also why our skin is uh, usually we age better because we're on it. We're on it. We're giving our skin the one it needs. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite place you've ever visited? Oh, I would say um, only because I went with my mom uh, was having gone back to the motherland and just getting to see the house that she grew up in seeing her with her sisters and, you know, the, the, uh, the dynamic there. And that was wild. Yeah. It was, everyone said my name properly. I was like, wow, everyone looks like me. I mean, I was otherized in so many other ways. Like I, I don't speak Somali very well. So it's, I knew people were talking crap about me, but then I just didn't have the language, like the, the skill <laughs> set to be like, back. but this, I'm funny back where I'm from. People think I'm funny. I'll have you know. What's your worst habit? Um, checking my phone too often, and then also I think for sure the sweets. Like the fact that I have to have a cookie or a milkshake. This is a real problem. <laughs> You've said this so many times. I'm like, but it's really real like problem. people are not talking enough about it. It's really a drug. Sugar is very much a drug. So people are like, why don't you? Why don't you drink or smoke weed? I'm like, no, this is my, I don't need another thing. This is it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you wish you had more of in your life? Uh, what do I wish I had more of? I guess 
organization, you know, because my room is just chaos, right? Uh, but I'm so organized when it comes to comedy and other things. So just really developing that skill set for and using that productivity and organization for everything else in my life. That's really, yeah. yeah. And if you had to pick a theme song for your life, what would it be? Oh, you know what? Um, any sort of Beyonce empowerment song, like a flawless, you know, yeah, it's a great song. Why not? It is. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. And, I, and, I, and you Formation. Were, I woke up like this. <laughs> Formation. I love that song. Yeah, you can't get it on Spotify, which is a little bit, you know, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but the, for sure that. Yeah, yeah. So it's a Beyonce song. Anything Beyonce. Kind of Formation or Flawless, because those are really, like, uplifting songs. I love those. Yeah. 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 I wish there was a crew filming them when we start talking about ashiness and then just to see their reaction You're like what are their thoughts They're like, what are they talking about like, yeah ashy <laughs> I don't know their thoughts. Okay. i'm so surprised to find out like when people shower they don't like lotion themselves right after <laughs> how how did yeah, you get it's so there? crazy it's like your skin is an organ you just read his head oh, you don't you lotion? lotion yourself after you do not I do. Oh, you but do. Do you oh, lotion you yourself after? Do you lotion? After what? After a shower, do you lotion your whole body? Oh, no, my face. I'll wash my... I'll, I'll <laughs> oh, wow. my face. What about you, sir? No. No, but I should because I have um, skin, skin problems. Uh, I have eczema. What do you have? Yeah, same. Okay. I probably should, but... <laughs> yeah, you got it. Right? I mean, this is foreign to me. Like, when people... Like, this isn't, like, standard. You get out of yeah, the shower you and it. you lather on some lotion. And you're, you're uh, my fellow like, of African origin... <laughs> Was Vaseline a thing in your life? It was, yes. And then you get older and you realize, oh, it's petroleum jelly. So we didn't really upgrade. Here. I'm like, how did we go through life slathering on just the name petroleum jelly? But they make it say, it's, you know, the name is Vaseline. Yeah. So everyone's just like, but it's really like toxic. Like, and then they'd have the baby picture on the... The, the marketing was genius, right? But they're losing so much business probably to like coconut oil and... All these other things. You, I love your humor because you're right. It's that's what I love most. It, it's not a perspective we ever hear. Like, yeah, 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 It's yeah. so different than, and you also can get away with, you know, like throwing and some things which like a white girl couldn't get away with, right? Well, that's the thing, right? And uh, sometimes uh, comics of color get pushed back from other um, white comics, mm -hmm. and they go, "Well, how come you, you guys are allowed to say that, but we're not allowed to say that?" And I go, "Listen, we get words, and you guys get through the world." The world, yeah. <laughs> Let's let us have these words, okay? That's all we got. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're. I wish you so much Thank success. You. So sweet. You are so sweet. Thank like, truly, you. I wish you so much success. I'm excited. I'm excited to see you just. Yeah, and then up. you know what? When it all happens, and you ask me like. What's my feeling on this stuff? We'll yes. do this again. Yes. And I'll have like... That's a, a promise, right? Of you're course. not, you're not going to be like, no, 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 what? How many women of color do you have? Women of color have to support <laughs> women of color. So I'm a big believer in that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm excited for we you. We did it.